Hello you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my everything that I bought for my baby haul. I am 39 weeks pregnant, so this may very well be the last video that I post on my channel before I actually have this baby, but I thought it would be fun as a mom that is not doing this for the first time, and this is not my first rodeo when it comes to baby products, to share some of the things that I have picked up for this baby. I'm about to have three under three, so when it comes to all of the baby products, that are newer and have been on the market for the last three years, I feel like I've had the opportunity to test a lot of them out and have landed on my favorites and favorite brands. And so I kind of reverse nested and pulled everything out to show you guys what we have picked up. I'm going to put timestamps for this video in the description box so you can jump ahead to a certain section with products that you're most interested in. But without further ado, and before I have this baby, let's go over everything we bought. I would say that this is more of like a minimal for a baby. Two reasons for that being obviously number one, that I have two other kids already and have had them in recent years. So basic things like car seat and high chair, all of that stuff we had already purchased or been gifted for previous babies. And I will actually link my other haul videos for those first two babies in the description box as well. But the second reason for it being minimal, I've realized over time that babies don't actually need that much, especially not in the first few months of life. And there is so much pushed out to moms as must-haves and things that you need to have on your registry, but all that they really need in the first little bit especially is you and maybe some diapers and a blanket or two. And so I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have here and kind of divide it into sections. I'm going to start with clothing and accessories. When it comes to clothing, I really did not want to go overboard. They do wear pajamas so much of the time in my experience. We did already also have a baby girl. But baby girl clothes are just irresistible. There is something about them that always has a choke hold on me. One of the first things that I picked out was this super cute little floral spring dress from H&M Baby. I have always loved their stuff because I feel like in terms of sizing, it always lasts me the longest. There's a lot of baby brands that tend to run a little bit smaller. I find especially like Carter's, Gap being some of the ones that would fall into that category. But H&M clothes seem to be a little bit roomier and they're so affordable. I got this one in four to six months and it was only $14.99. I'm super excited because her older sister has a matching dress to this too. I was also gifted some clothes. So one of my friends picked this up, I think just at like a TJ Maxx. And I thought that this color was so sweet for spring. I feel like a lot of that sagier green is something that I've been drawn to for this baby girl. It came with a little pair of tights and is almost like a little bloomer outfit. A friend also picked this up for us. And I think it is the cutest little cardigan ever. It's so soft. It's from Zara, which I would say is probably like after H&M, my other favorite place to get baby clothes, but is obviously a little bit pricier so I think she also found this at like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or something like that and then the last kind of like outfit set this is also from Marshalls is this little two-piece here so it has the little footed pants on the bottom and then the little like wrap over top and I find styles like this really nice in the early stages if you are going to be getting them dressed in something kind of like other than PJs just because having something be a little bit roomier for them when they still have their umbilical cord clamp attached is just nice because you feel like you're not kind of pulling at it or irritating it when you're getting them dressed. Those are literally the only like new outfit pieces that I have for her. I did also grab a couple of just like onesies from H&M because I love their little like wrap over body suits. So I grabbed a three pack of those in just like a kind of dusty pink color scheme, but it does make it really easy to do a diaper changes and kind of access their belly in that whole zone when they have the umbilical cord attached. So I wanted to grab a couple more of those because I have found that they have been the best with my other babies as well. Next up on the clothing front is PJs. So I did grab a couple new zippered footies from Kite Baby. I have just found that these are the most buttery, soft bamboo pajamas that you can find. And I have tried a lot of different bamboo pajamas over time, but these are the ones that I always get for my babies. They hold up so well over time. I have experienced zero pilling when it has come to Kite. And so my first two babies actually wore all the same Kite pajamas and now my third baby will wear these but also those same original pajamas that my first baby wore because they've just held up really well over time. Bamboo is also eczema and sensitive skin friendly which I love so for all of my babies now I've actually in the hospital bag packed them a kite zippered footy because I just feel like it's the coziest kind of thing that you can wear for the first time as you're getting ready to take your baby home or dressing them for the first time after birth so I wanted to grab a couple more of those. 
this. And also from Kite in that same like bamboo buttery soft material, I grabbed a couple of sleep bags. Similarly to the PJs for all of my babies, I've also gotten them a Kite Baby sleep bag because these are what we put them in after we stop swaddling them. My son Jude is actually still in his Kite sleep bag. He now alternates between the one that I got for him when he was a baby as well as the one that his sister wore. So even though I have washed those things so many times and they have really seen it all, they have held up very well over time. So I did decide to get a like soft pink one for baby girl in the size small. Sometimes I get questions from you guys about what tog I will get. With Kite, their coolest sleep bag is 0.5 tog. And then they also have a one tog as well as 2.5, which would be intended for more of like cooler environments. We are in Canada. And so some people have asked if I go for 2.5, which is like the warmest sleep bags they have. But honestly, I just get the one tog and I use them year round. In terms of Fahrenheit, it's ideal for like 69 to 73 degrees. And our house kind of sits in that range most of the year anyways. But something that did not exist when I had my first baby, and I honestly don't even know if it existed when I had Jude, is the sleep bag swaddler from Kite. So I grabbed a couple of those as well. So these are specifically designed for the swaddling stage. So you can use them for newborns between like seven to 13 pounds. And this is a really convenient way to swaddle if you don't wanna have to do the whole kind of like swaddle blanket workaround system that babies can so easily break out of all the time. Basically it's the same sleep bag from Kite. Then they have this little Velcro attachment across the back, which is like very securely on there. You just put your baby into the sleep bag and then a couple inches below the chin and below their shoulders, swaddle them across the chest and then make sure that that Velcro is very secure across the back as well. But that's all you have to do to swaddle. It's got a zipper at the top and the bottom to make diaper changes really easy. And it was designed with a lot of the latest sleep safety research in mind as well. So I am so excited to try these ones out. I will definitely report back on our experience with them. You know, I had to get a couple of new bows. The first one that I grabbed is actually just from Amazon. I am not 100% sure if this is going to fit for a little while because it seems like it's kind of big to me. It was designed for zero to 18 months. So I feel like she might have to grow into it, but it's this little white one. The brand just says Baby Wisp. And then I also got some from a small shop on Etsy that was called Little Luba. I chose one beigier color and then one that's more of like a cream that has some detailing on it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I thought that those would be super cute. And I did also get a couple of like head wrap style bows from Kite Baby as well. So these are also in that bamboo material, but I liked that they were adjustable, which is something that with these bows you can't really do. And the last kind of hair accessory that I got was this little baby bonnet that is also from Kite. They're just like vintage looking and classic. And so I thought it would be fun to have a couple of photos of her wearing one of these as well. And then you guys know we had to do a re-up on the bibs pacifiers because both of our kids have absolutely loved pacifiers, but I did want to grab a couple of like new styles and patterns just because bibs has come out with some newer pacifiers since the last time that I would have bought them. One of the ones that I got was the glow in the dark ones, which I think may actually be these ones here. But I just think that is so genius because there's been so many times in the middle of the night where I've been searching for a pacifier and haven't been able to find it. The thing that I am most excited for is a collaboration they did with a brand called Liberty. And these came out right around the time that we had Jude and I did not get him any floral pacifiers, but I did really want to get them for this baby girl. So I got a couple of those from that collection as well as the little like pacifier box that they offer with that same collaboration. I think you can store up to three pacifiers in here and it's just nice if you're going to be like throwing pacifiers into the diaper bag and want to make sure that they stay clean and sanitized. This is just like a nice little thing that you could even clip onto the side of your diaper bag or something like that. So that is everything that I have from like an accessories point of view. As you have seen, there are a few things that we get for all of our kids, like one pair of special pajamas, one sleep bag, all of those different kinds of things. Another one of those things that I have gotten for all of my kids is a little jelly cat lovey. For each of my babies, I have first introduced one of these around the four month sleep regression when I find that they start to face those first initial feelings of separation anxiety. It's just a nice comfort item that they can kind of have with them as they grow. Essentially, they all have this like unbelievably soft little stuffed animal on the top, but then these also unravel into like a little square kind of blankie that they can hold on 
one too that is very small. I kid you not, for both of my first two kids, the Lovey is like their most prized possession on this earth. I honestly should probably have backups of these in all of the different styles because they are such big fans of them. So I wanted to get one for my daughter as well. And then another thing that I'm very excited about is that for this baby girl, we also have a couple Cuddle and Kind dolls. These were actually gifted to us from Cuddle and Kind. And I was so excited about that because they have a great cause basically for every single doll. They will feed 10 children in need. They're like very beautiful heirloom quality knit stuffed animals. And the only downside to this is now I feel like I need to get one for my eldest daughter as well, because every time she sees these around the house, she wants to stake her claim on them. So that is all that I have for like the stuffed animal slash lovey category. Up next, let's talk swaddles, birth claws, and blankets. I feel like I have really done my fair share of trial and error testing when it has come to what I have loved. Our first baby was not really a puker. She seemed to hold everything down okay. Our second baby actually had a dairy allergy that was like diagnosed and discovered at 10 months. And the first few months of his life with breastfeeding were just filled with so much puke. So as you can imagine, I was going through burp claws like crazy. I believe the brand of these ones is called Comfy Cubs on Amazon. And I found that they had the best absorption. They're the best for like throwing over your shoulder and burping in terms of the size of them. So with all the puke from my second born, I did salvage as many of those burp claws as I could for this baby. But I did also grab a couple extra just in that soft pink color. And it's hard to know how many burp claws you're going to need until you have your baby because some babies are just not really pukers. But if you're looking for like my best recommendation in terms of quality for price and the amount that you get, highly, highly recommend these burp claws from Comfy Cubs. And again, those will be linked in the description box. Okay, so for swaddles, I said that after my first baby, I was never gonna buy a swaddle again because I only ever really use them kind of as blankets or for puke or for photos. And I didn't actually find that I use them for sleep because I prefer to have sleep bags and swaddler products and things like that. But with this baby girl, there was something that I wanted to splurge on. And that was a beautiful and kind of timeless heirloom swaddle because I didn't know if this was gonna be my last baby girl and this is something that I've wanted for a very long time and I regret to inform you <laughs> that I spent almost a hundred dollars on this single swaddle and it is this beautiful a hundred percent cotton muslin swaddle from the brand Garbo and Friends. I am so excited about this. This is one of the honestly most beautiful baby products that I have ever owned and probably will ever own. It is made in Portugal and when I was looking for a very like classic timeless swaddle design. I wanted something that I knew was gonna be really high quality material because I wanted to have her wrapped up in it for like so many of those like initial newborn photos and just like special memories together. And so I was willing to spend a little bit more. I have no regrets and y'all better prepare yourselves because you are about to see a whole lot of photos with that swaddle in it. Next up is baby blankets. And that's another thing that I like to have be kind of unique for my children because they do, I don't know, just form sort of an attachment with it. And I feel like it's nice to have all of them kind of grow up with their baby blanket or baby blankets. And so the two that I chose out for this girl, I almost keep saying her name in all of my videos, are this little quilted one from Kite Baby, which again is in that same like very buttery soft bamboo material, very stretchy, just feels so luxurious. And I know that I'm gonna have her wrapped up in that a lot in the beginning stages. And then I also got this one from Bibs, which I feel like is just a very classic and beautiful design. It has kind of that like pointel, I think it's called. And so I thought that those two kind of complemented each other very well. They're both very soft and cozy. And especially with like an early spring baby, it's nice to have blankets that you can just kind of throw over the bassinet if you're going out for a walk or the car seat or just have them snuggled up in at home. So that is what I have for baby blankets this time around. When it comes to toys, there wasn't much that I needed to do because we do obviously already have two babies and are kind of set in that department, but KiwiCo did release a new version of their Panda Crate. The first one I believe is from zero to three months. So we did have that delivered in the mail, which is exciting. We did also get their like sensory play mat because I do hold my babies a lot of the time when they're newborns and honestly, as you should. But when I do set my babies down, I prefer to have it be on the floor as 
as opposed to like in seats or swings just because it does allow for that like free range of motion and movement and that kind of supports them in their development as well so that is everything that I have from a play perspective so I have two more categories and one of them is baby care items and then the final category of things I'm gonna go into are things that are kind of like a little bit more for me than I think that they are for the baby so when it comes to diapers and wipes I am a Pampers pure girly I just find that these are the best when it comes to the way that the wipes actually hold up I have used so many different types of wipes in my time as a mom of two under two and now going into three under three and I find that so many of them when you initially open that lid like they're good there's a nice amount of wetness there a couple hours later it's like the first few wipes at the top all the time have already dried out and they don't hold moisture very well these ones for whatever reason hold the moisture so well and so first of all you don't need as much of them when you're doing diaper changes but they're also just so much more gentle on little baby's bums and you're not having to like wipe repeatedly because the wipe is not wet enough so these ones are also fragrance free 99% water very natural plant-based ingredients so I personally love Pampers Pure I actually also typically buy their diapers for my babies for whatever reason this time around I was not able to find Pampers Pure newborn diapers so I did decide to try a new brand this time around for the newborn diapers but I landed on the brand Aleva Naturals I have never tried this brand before but after doing a little bit of research I liked that these ones were safe natural plant-based ingredients and very gentle on baby's skin I'm gonna have to report back on our experience with these it was like a smaller pack just because our babies don't typically wear newborn diapers very long I tend to birth bigger babies so we'll see how long we last in newborn diapers and then I also needed to do a re-up on some just general baby care products because it's been a while since I've needed to do that and honestly my first two kids I feel like for the last two years shared a lot of the same baby care products because I had them so close together and I didn't need to buy that much more but this time a lot of those original products from my firstborn are old and it's time to say goodbye so this time around I am trying products from a brand called Chlorine I decided to try these ones out because they're supposed to be organic biodegradable and like 96 to 98 percent naturally derived and not all babies are going to have super sensitive skin that reacts to things like fragrance and harsher chemicals but some do and I personally find that I have sensitive skin and my second born had very sensitive skin so I definitely try to err on the side of caution when it comes to ingredients and I liked what I saw when it came to chlorine but it's also very accessible to get in Canada which is where I am from so I have a gentle cleansing gel which I think is just for like bath time a moisturizing lotion we have a cleansing water which is really great for infant and baby acne as well as a diaper change cream with organic calendula so I'm excited to try these ones out I did also grab a soft bristle brush for this baby I had this one for my first and then my second baby was born with like pretty much no hair so I found that I didn't really need this for the first stretch of time but now that I've had a baby with a lot of hair and one baby with no hair I feel like it's a 50 50 shot and I figured it's probably good to have a hairbrush on hand again okay the final category is everything that I got to make my life easier as a mom this next product is one that I am so excited about and have actually been waiting to unbox on camera with you guys and it is the Mabe baby carrier this carrier has been popping off on social media because it is supposedly an incredible dupe of the Artipop carrier which I just think is absolutely beyond in terms of pricing this one is a very similar design that is also like hip healthy but at a much more affordable price point they've also been having to do pre-orders because they keep for good reason selling out every single time so I'm so excited that I got my hands on one of them let's take a look at this together I got it in the shade beige and this is called their monarch carrier oh my gosh the material feels super high quality and it has like a little gold buckle detailing on it there as well as like a little monarch kind of embroidery print on the back but the reason that I wanted one of these carriers is because it does it all you can front inward face you can front outward face safely but then you can also back inward face as well and because I'm about to have three under three I feel like having the option for all of those things is going to be so essential for me to keep my hands free in whatever way I need to keep my hands free I do really love these solly wraps for the early newborn days when you have them like so snug and close but in the past I have tended to have 
bigger babies. And so I have found that much earlier than most. My kids have actually kind of grown out of those wraps just because their bum starts to sag. I have to readjust it very often. Whereas this one is gonna provide a lot of structure for me beyond the newborn days. And I'm gonna have the option to kind of wear her in a lot of different ways in a way that is not only healthy for my baby's hip development, but also just for my own comfort while wearing them. Um, so this one is for use between seven pounds and 35 pounds. So you can use it for the newborn stage, but it can grow well beyond that point as well. So I am so excited to use this. I will link all of the info for this brand in the description box. It's a little bit newer. I was actually talking to the owner of it and she is a viewer of my channel, which I think is the coolest thing ever. So go and check it out. Mabe Carriers, you guys will not be disappointed. Next up, let's talk nursing bras because I have tried so many nursing bras at this point. I have tried some cheap nursing bras. I have been gifted very high-end nursing bras and tried those as well. And I can honestly tell you that the best nursing bras that I have ever tried are actually the mama bras from H&M. I can say with full confidence that these bras that come in a pack of two for like less than $40 are better in my experience than some of the nursing bras that I've tried that are like 70 to 80 bucks. There's a few reasons for that. One of them being how soft and like seamless the design is. I am like such a big fan of seamless products when it comes to underwear and bras. That's just my personal preference. But the main reason that I love these so much more than other brands is because there is no removable cup. This might be a hot take, but I don't know why we are putting removable cups into these bras. Like I don't want them to come out. In fact, once they come out, it is such a hassle because every single time you wash them, you either have to stuff them back in or if you're like me, I just take them out completely because I don't want to deal with that anymore. And then I have all of these bras that are not super supportive and are not like offering enough coverage <laughs> because of the fact that the cup is constantly falling out. So I personally really love these because they are so comfortable. They are 95% organic material. They are seamless. The price point is amazing. They're adjustable. And so do not waste your money on some of these crazy high end nursing bras. The mama nursing bras are all you need. And I will put a link for them in the description box. Another item that I am very excited about is a brand new hospital slash travel bag. You might be thinking, aren't you having a home birth? And the answer to that is yes, I am planning on having a home birth, but you still need to have a hospital bag packed if you're having a home birth. And Maiden is actually the creator of the diaper bag that we have and have loved for our two under two season of life. And I've used the same worn down bag for all of my overnight trips, all of my carry-ons on flights, all of my hospital bag packing for the last few Few years and so Maiden actually sent this as a gift. It is their quilted carry-all tote and because I have had such a great experience with the diaper bag that I have from Maiden, like I have used this thing every single day for almost two years and I've really put it through the ringer but the amount of pockets that it has, the organization systems that these bags have, I just know that I'm gonna have a great experience with it. So I do think that I actually have a discount code with Maiden. I'm so excited to have this new hospital bag so thank you you made it for sending that. The final items that I got for baby slash mostly myself in my postpartum recovery are some more boy short briefs from Freedom Mom. I absolutely love these for postpartum recovery. They are so comfortable. I wish that I could wear them just like in a regular season of life because they are so comfortable. They're so supportive and I feel like there's nothing else that I really want to have on after birth. And so I definitely had to have some more of those for my postpartum basket. If you guys want to see more of what I have for like a postpartum recovery setup, go back and watch my nesting vlog and I kind of share more of what I put into my basket for that. But one more thing that I got that will also be helpful for any like second time mom, third time moms, fourth time moms, you name it, is something called afteries. If you did not know, after you have your baby, when you breastfeed them, essentially your uterus continues to contract back down to size during that process. And after you have your first baby, there's not like too much that it needs to do to get back down to the size that it was before in most cases. When you add subsequent children, your uterus has to do more and more work basically to contract back down to size. And so 
What that means is that with subsequent babies, you will have a lot more in terms of like after birth contractions to the point where sometimes moms that are breastfeeding feel like they're back in labor again in those early stages because their uterus is doing so much hard work to shrink back down. This time around, I am anticipating that the after birth contractions are gonna be pretty intense. Being that this is my third baby, I believe you just put it directly into any drink that you were having, so water, smoothie, and it's like like a herbal supplement that is supposed to help with that afterbirth pain and make it feel a little bit less like you were back in labor. So I will report back on my experience with this, but I'm really hoping that that will help me out this time around. Well, you guys, that concludes my haul of everything that I got for baby number three. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for me to walk through some of the products that we got this time around and why I chose them. I did also want to remind you that if you are new here, that I have a lot of other baby hauls videos, baby product recommendation videos, things that I regret buying. All of those are linked in the description box if you want to go and check those out from my first baby and my second baby. I'm also curious to know what are your must-have baby items or new products that have been released that you have absolutely loved for your baby or are excited to try for your baby if you are expecting. Being 39 weeks pregnant, this may or may not be the last video that you guys see from me before baby girl arrives, but I will do my best to continue sharing sharing some updates on how I'm doing and how baby is doing. And if you want to be the first to find out, then definitely head over to my Instagram at Beth Grace Moore and follow along there. As for now, I need to go and re-nest and put all of this stuff back where it belongs. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all of your prayers and for being here. And until my next video, I love you guys. I am praying for you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.